This lesson will explain a counterbalance valve, one of the most important features of a jacking system. Counterbalance valves are used to control the descent of a lifted object, in our case the ship's hull. It allows the hull to move up while preventing it to fall down. Let's look at the drawing first to explain how does it work. This is the schematics of our motor and counterbalance valves which are attached to it. Counterbalance valve is a type of pressure control valve, restricting the flow from one side to another. It has a check valve bypass which allows unrestricted flow in one direction. The high pressure in line A will bypass the counterbalance valve and pass through the check valve. It will carry on through the system to power the motor. After passing through the motor, oil enters the low pressure line. This is where things get interesting. The oil arrives to the load holding port of the valve. When pressure reaches the set value, the valve will open and allow the oil to flow from port 1 to port 2. This pressure is not high enough to open the counterbalance valve, but there is a port 3 down here. This is pilot assist port, which allows pressure from other parts of system to help with opening the valve. These two combined build the pressure required to open the counterbalance valve and allow low pressure to pass through. There is another valve here. It allows the oil from the high pressure side to pass into the motor, taking the heat from the motor and sending it through the case drain for cooling. You can see here how this works. The high pressure oil enters through the A port, bypassing the counterbalance through the check valve, spinning the motor and then pushing open the counterbalance on the port B. Um, following the lines out again, let's go back to the motor. The motor itself has a block bolted on the back of it, which is our counterbalance valves. This is our brake. This does 98% of the braking within our jacking system. It controls our descent. They're extremely important. Mico brakes that we have, they are merely parking brakes. Just like in your car, it's a parking brake. This is the dynamic brake for the system. So earlier I mentioned when we're going down, I'm controlling the descent by forcing the pressure across the counterbalance valve. The flow coming out of the motor uh, hits the counterbalance valve, then the pressure is reduced right at the counterbalance valve. So we have selected a ratio between the counterbalance valves that make our jacking system some of the smoothest that you'll see. They're extremely smooth. That happens because of this counterbalance valve and the ratio in which it opens. The ratio that I'm talking about, it's a ratio between the pressure in the A line versus it's, that same pressure is coming across over as a pilot signal to open the other valve. So full pressure signal here is going to burn 2,000 psi of heat right there. It turns it into heat right there. It flows through the loop. We take it out again through the case of the motor. This valve right here, that's actually a flow control. And it's set at about three gallons per motor. We pull about three gallons that we're sending it to the heat exchanger to keep our jacking system cool. This training and other videos on this channel are produced to educate the crew and all involved personnel. Feel free to use them in your training sessions.